Hello everybody and welcome to episode 8 of the Rebuild with Tottenham Hotspur. Today we take on West Ham at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. There is no love lost between these two sides in this London derby. As you can see, things are going very, very well indeed. Let's take a look at the results we've had since we've last been together. So following the demolition job that was the Emirates the last time around, we beat Norwich City by a goal to nil. Harry Kane missing a penalty but scoring in the 86th minute to win the game. Then we eased past Brighton by three goals to nil. Two goals for Harry Kane and one for Hume Min Son. Now, Nottingham Forest have been the whipping boys so far this season, but they took an early lead. Gustavo Starpa with the goal, but a goal from Hume Min Son and two from Harry Kane again saw us past Nottingham Forest. Had a good home win against Aston Villa as well. No Harry Kane on the score sheet this time. Ollie Watkins did put Aston Villa in front early doors, but Yumin Son and Dejan Kudasekepsi with the winner. Then we had a very interesting game at St Mary's where we won by four goals to two, including a first goal for Giovanni Reina and for Gonzalo Ramos. And last time around, we beat Brighton in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Two goals for Harry Kane, but he did pick up an injury. We'll talk about that in a second. Alexis McAllister with the reply. So it was only an amber injury, but it does leave me with a bit of a predicament as to what to do today. I think I'm going to bench him. I think we're going to give Ramos a start up front and Harry Kane will kind of be the insurance policy. If he has to come on, then he does. If he doesn't have to come on, then we can kind of leave him where he is and let him recover fully from his bruised knee. So our reward for beating Brighton in the Carabao Cup is to take on League One Reading in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Obviously, they've done well to get this far, Reading, so they will be no easy task, but we should make it through to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. As I mentioned earlier, in the Premier League, we are second. Four points behind Liverpool at this point in time. We've had an amazing run, just the one loss to Chelsea so far this season. Liverpool, near enough a perfect record. They've had a loss as well. We have a trip to Anfield next time around. Crunch game at the top. Where are West Ham? They are down in 10th place. Doing all right. 16 points from their 11 games played so far. Chance to move into European contention with a win. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Let's take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups as we start with Carrick in goal. Porro, Romero, Akanji, Ogdogi. Benton Kaur, Dewsbury Hall, Kudoseski, Reina, Dan Juma with Ramos leading the line. No human son at the moment either. He's out for up to three weeks, I think it is now. And Harry Kane is, of course, on the substitutes bench. As West Ham start with Fabianski in goal. Kufal, Zuma, Boo! We have not forgotten Kurt. Agerd, Creswell, Lanzini, Suchek, Rice, Paqueta, Bowen with Vlasic leading the line. Samaka. And Antonio are on the bench. So I'm not sure if it's a false nine or not for Vlasic. Might well be playing that. For those that don't know the history though, this fixture goes back many, many years of aggro, mainly, for us. West Ham have always been a bit of a thorn in our side. They were the first winners at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to win us the away side, of course. We had a couple of good home wins before that. So yeah. We need to beat West Ham today. Lasagna Gate is also a thing, for those that remember that. For those that don't, we had a bit of food poisoning before a final game of a Premier League season back in about 2006. I was at Upton Park that day as West Ham beat us and we lost fourth place to Arsenal, who beat Wigan, I think it was. Final game at Highbury. So yeah, I think it was about 2006. As Pedro Porro has got the ball inside the penalty area. Goes for the shot, saved by Fabianski. If that is... With things that are going on at the football club at the moment, with obviously no new manager, hopefully there will be one by the time this goes out. It's all going a bit Pete Tong. As Dewsbury Hall has got the corner. Ball towards the centre and it's headed away. I like Dewsbury Hall. He's been starting a lot more games recently. I still don't want to pay £38 million for him. Dan Juma plays in Ramos. Reina, hoping the youth up front will work in our favour today. As Reina has got the ball. Tries to find a cross. Finds Benzincourt on the edge. Have a shot, Rodrigo. He does! Oh, he's made the post! Oh! That's your luck, Rodrigo. Kufal with the throw. In towards Lanzini. 
goes into Declan Rice. I'm surprised Declan Rice is still here, to be brutally honest. I thought it would have thought he'd be the first one out the door. Plays it across into a Kanji. Dewsbury Hall. Danjuma. Dewsbury Hall looking over the top from Ramos. That's a lovely ball in behind. Can he finish it? No. No. He can't. It's unlucky. Got to give confidence to the young man. He's got his first goal for us. He's filling very big boots today, though. In fairness, I think Harry Kane's good for an hour. Maybe half an hour. So we'll see. If we can do the job without him, that would be superb. Dan Juma with the ball on the left. Can he find a teammate? No, he has to cut back. But we've got West Ham pinned in on that left-hand side. Good work. Dewsbury Hall plays at Dogi. Pentancourt, swing that in, Rodrigo. Okay, you have a go. Anybody? No? All right, we'll keep working it around the box. And then we give it away. That's what happens. West Ham pressurising the football, but a Dogi should win that. And we go the other way again. I love the high press. Really do. Dan Juma looks for Kudoseski at the far post. He's headed it over the bar. Unlucky. Ramos is just running around like Edler's chicken at the top of the pitch there, isn't he? Just chasing anything that moves. But it might get rewarded. They are still playing it very tightly around the edge of the box. 2,000 years later. Are they going to knock it? Lock? I mean, Ramos is literally just going like that between the two of them. And with, they've given it away. So it has worked. Dan Schumer. Through to Reyna. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Giovanni Reyna. Bloody VAR. Soon as the referee puts his arm up, you're like, oh, for bleeding hell's sake. Are we going to get given the goal? No. Dewsbury Hall with a free kick. Long way out. Gets it over the wall. Good save, Fabianski. Hurricane with the free kick. Goal kick, even. They're even talking about bringing Harry Kane on now for Dan Juma. He's looking pretty tired, his old Dan Juma, to be fair. Glad I brought him back. He's not really done much, though, so far, unfortunately. Rice intercepted. Reina takes it away. Ramos into Kudosevsky. Looking for Dan Juma. Prove me wrong. He tries to play the ball into Ramos! There we go! Arnold Dan Juma has done something! The commentator's curse has reversed! Lovely stuff. Just before half time, Gonzalo Ramos with the goal. First, near enough on the goal line, Harry Kane esque positioning from Ramos. Taps it beyond Fabianski. That's what we needed. Right on the buzzer. Go on, send him. Looks for. <laughs> I'm not sure who he was trying to pass that to. We found our way to Kulusevsky anyway. That's all that matters. Can he find a ball into the centre? Flings it towards the par post. Down. Juma! Saved by Fabianski. That was going in. Arnold Dan Juma has come alive. That is half time. 1 0. Gonzalo Ramos with the goal. Well, I think we'll keep things as they are, right? We are dominating West Ham. Beautiful to see. So happy. Let's just keep going. And if I can keep Harry Kane where he's sitting, all is the better. Kudoseski gives it away to Bowen. West Ham going to have to be better. And I think they will be, to be honest. Ange Postecoglou will have probably got into him at half time. But Ramos is trying to get away from Kurt Zuma into Reina. On towards Pedro Porro. Coming down that right hand side. Doing very well. Finds Kudoseski. Goes towards Dan Juma. <laughs> it's the way he leans back. To head the ball, he's come off the bar and Kufal gets it clear. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a standing header, but you don't you don't do that. <laughs> Cared with the ball in towards Kurt Zuma. That made me chuckle. Good challenge, but West Ham pick up the ball with Lanzini. Vlasic intercepted. Love how we just swarm around a player when they've got the ball. Dan Zuma's available again. Can he find Kudusevsky? Can, but he's headed it over the bar. Again, once more. Keeping the high press on. Finding Kufal, though. But he gives it away to Zanjuma. Reina springs it the other way. <laughs> He's gone for a shot. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Wow! Gonzalo Ramos! I cannot... I'm literally speechless. He's just unleashed one. Oh, my days. Rayner with a free kick. Chance for number three. It's off the bar. Forget it. Goal of the season competition. It is over. Oh, stunned. 
absolutely stunned. And those that know me well, I am very rarely speechless. Jesus Christ. A doggy. Plays it onto Dewsbury Hall. Save. Let's make a couple of substitutions, shall we? Oh, oh, I can't get over that. I genuinely can't get over that. Um, right. Dan Juma is going to come off. Williams is going to come on. We're going to take off Christian Romero. Lucas Hernandez is going to come on for him. And we're going to take off Dewsbury Hall as well and bring on Yusba Suba. I was going to take Ramos off with one goal. He's on a hat trick. I'm going to leave him out there. Ball over the top. Oh my God, keeper's gone out. Where are you going? I'm going to get a pint of milk. Oh, first real bit of concern, and it's our own bloody mistake. Akanji. Fantasy, we brought Antonio down. He was off as well, the keeper. And that would have completely thrown things. Oh, Dogie on the left. Plays it into Hernandez, and he's intercepted it as Mikel Antonio. He's not going to get away, though, I don't think. No. No chance. Williams with the ball. Tries to find the ball in towards Kudusevsky. Heads it towards goal, Fabianski with a save. Lucas Fabianski sending it long down the field. Akanji heads it forward. Benton Kerr will pick it up. No, he won't. Declan Rice will take it away from him. Towards Antonio. Hernandez coming across. Shuts the door. Now oh, get up. Jesus. Creswell. Will he play the ball back? He will to Suchek and he's headed it wide. Right. Let's have a look at another couple of changes with 15 to play. We're going to take off Reyna. And we're going to bring on Rodrigo to Paul. And we are going to take off a doggy, and we're going to bring on Ben Davis. One, two, three, four, five. That is all the changes we have to make. So Ramos is going to finish the game. Sorry, Richardson. It was my plan to bring you on. Not today. He's got Williams in front of him, but Basuma is going alone. Oh, knees. We find a ball into the area. He'll find Reyna. Last action from him. Comes inside the penalty area. Tries to get the shot away. I was expecting Ramos to try a bicycle kick or something there. <laughs> His expectation level has gone from there to there, though. From what he could do. Free kick. DePaul's going to take it. Ball in towards the area, towards the back post, and it's headed away. But Benson Kerr will pick it up. West Ham had everybody back behind the ball. Hilarious. You're 2-0 down. At least leave someone up the field. Poro. Looking over the top for Ramos. He gets the header in. And there is the hat trick. Oh, bloody VAR. <laughs> I can't take it. Don't deny him a hat trick. And they haven't. Gonzalo Ramos, remember the name. He has got three goals in the Premier League. And it's a header from the edge of the box. Off the underside of the bar. Fabianski must be thinking, not him again. Oh, he's miles onside. What's the line I'm putting his flag up for? First, Harry Kane will be delighted to have a rest of the game. <laughs> Cup of tea. Cup of tea, H. Swings the ball in towards the back post. And it's headed towards goal. Here I can with the catch, though. Good challenge. Ramos has another one from distance. <laughs> Fabianski's like, no, not this time. And we are into the final 10 seconds of the Gonzalo Ramos show today. Fabulous second goal. First one and the third one weren't too bad either. As DePaul's got the ball, gets a shot in. He's trying to get his head on it. There is full time though. West Ham have been put to the sword. Gonzalo Ramos with a hat trick. And what a hat trick. Ooh, okay then. The rest of Saturday's results. Very interesting. So Chelsea have beaten Liverpool. So that means that we close to within a point of Liverpool. Wow. Okay. Didn't expect that. Really didn't expect that. Manchester City starting to make their way up the table. Although they drew with Wolves. So, very interesting indeed. Down the bottom, no win so far for Nottingham Forest. But they have played a game less than everybody else. And I suspect by the time we get to Anfield, things will have changed again. So we're going to make a bit of headway once more. Obviously, we've got the international break in November. Don't forget that. So the gap... Might seem quite long, but it's actually not that long. So, we'll take on Norwich. We'll take on Newcastle, Bournemouth, Watford, Wolves and Reading to see if we can make it through to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.